I'm here with Phil Hollows from Feed Blitz and we're going to talk a little bit about email marketing. One of my favourite things to talk about, that's awesome. Tell me a little bit what Feed Blitz is before we start. Feed Blitz is an email marketing service designed specially for um, bloggers and small businesses to help you get your word out automatically, easily, reliably. Um, so you can focus on your business and not on managing your email list. Okay, so what would you say the main benefits of email is over sort of connecting on Facebook and Twitter? Well, um, connecting on Facebook and Twitter are really great ways to connect with your audience, but one of the things you're doing when you do that is that you're basically um, renting space on somebody else's property, right? That those, you, what you need to do is get those people off Facebook and off Twitter into your site and into your list, because then you know who they are and you control them and how you interact with them. You have no control of what Twitter and Facebook are going to do. So, for example, the recent Facebook UI changes really um, hurt traffic from Facebook pages back to websites. If you're relying on traffic for retail sales or for ad revenue, that's really hurt a lot of small businesses. So you can grab them and then you can mail them. Um, you, you can basically target them based on their purchase history, their demographics, um, and every single email you send to a subscriber, once you have them, is um, it's like a mini one-page website. Right? You've got images, you've got logos, you've got nice fonts, you can do things. A tweet is 140 characters of plain text. You know, it's not as engaging, and it's going to fly by in that stream. Whereas with an email list, when you're properly permissioned, you're there in their inbox by invitation, they're ready and waiting to hear from you, and you get a much more engaged and committed audience. And I do have a vested interest in saying this, but Seth Godin, one of the internet marketing gurus, says he gets 10 times more engagement from visitors on his email list than he does from any other form of media. So, you know, this is, you know, the, the leaders work. Um, rely on their email list to help them make money. And that's why they're always asking for your email subscription on every page of their website, highly visible above the fold. So what would you say makes an effective email? An effective email? Um, one, in a sense, much like any other blog post, it's, it's one that is very engaging and it's, it's, it's got to be timely for the subscriber. It needs to be relevant. Okay, So if you're writing about socks, for example, but your email list is about people who are interested in car mechanics, it's not going to work. Okay. So it needs to be relevant, and and you need to make them feel like they're being re they're, they're being respected. Okay, so th there's nothing worse than feeling bombarded by 20% off free shipping every day of the week because you bought a store loyalty card. So what would you say? Um, how often should people be sending out emails to their customer base? That's a great question, and the answer is uh, it, it depends. Right, that's really not helpful. So, for example, um, some of our clients mail every single day because they're doing uh, they're, they're frugal or deal bloggers, and every every day there's 20% off this, or there's buy one get one free at this other store, and so their audience are trying to save money in these times, and it's essential for them to make the most of their family household budget by doing that. On the other hand, there are businesses where uh, some audiences where once a week is actually too much. Right, and the, the challenge is well, how do I find out what the right mailing frequency is in my audience? And what you do is you yeah. you start off with uh, one approach, maybe yeah, it's a weekly a, digest or a weekly so ma mailing, um, and then you yeah. look what happens. And some people will unsubscribe because they're saying this is too much for me. And then you say, well, maybe I should offer a monthly alternative. Or they say it's too late. I, and I, I need to hear about. You. I, I love what you're saying. Please get it to me sooner. And then okay, maybe I need to have a, a daily version as well as a weekly one. And so it's basically it's like anything else in marketing. You start, you measure, react, and you change what you're doing based on the experience. So how 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 can you get people to actually sign up to your list? I think it's, it's actually very easy. You, you, you have to ask them to. Right, you know, you've got to ask for the order. Um, so in my sites that I gave in my presentation here at Blog World, um, I used three leading sites, um, Coffee Blogger, um, Pro Blogger, and uh, JohnChow.com. And they're all asking for um, email subscriptions on the right-hand side of their websites, above the fold, very visible, and before they talk about their Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn connections. And the reason is because then they own the list. It's very visible, okay? And they're not, they're, they're seizing control of, of that information. And so you've got to remember, just make it visible. It's the biggest challenge. Most bloggers will hide their email subscription, a little mail icon next to the RSS icon. And you know, it's, it's unclear. Does that email icon mean mail me? Does it mean contact us? Does it mean subscribe? And as soon as you're making the subscriber think about what it might be, then you're starting to lose them. 
so you can do a lot a lot worse than simply go to your favorite industry leading sites and go oh there it is top right above the fold there it is top right above the fold learn from them mimic them and you'll grow your list faster and if you send them engaging content you'll keep them on your list for longer and you can generate more revenue from them for longer it's all about lifetime value at the end of the day well, thank you very much for speaking to us, Phil. You're more than welcome. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, if we want to follow you, where can we find you? Um, you can subscribe to my mailing list at feedblitz.com. Um, little email icon, actually. I don't do what I say. <laughs> you should. A little embarrassing. I'll fix that. Um, I'm also P. Hollows on Twitter, and that's where I love to network with peers and uh, fellow um, business owners and help them on any email or social media topic, even if you're not using feedblitz, because you know what? We should share our, our expertise no matter what service you use. So, P. Hollows on Twitter, feedblitz.com is the site. Thank you very much. Thank you, Catherine.